Hello there, you guys. Welcome on in. If you are just joining us, we're playing some more Story Seasons Pioneers of Evolved Town. Or Sauce Boot. <laughs> Today, uh, we are midway through summer. We have a whole bunch of crops growing. We've been making a lot of money. We upgraded our house. Um, been talking a lot about farming sims. And that's pretty much our day so far today. We won the Jamboree, the summer Jamboree, very easily. Um, and yeah. Rosie, are you are you sketching a uh, a leg emote? Also, yes, you can do exclamation mark Discord if you want the link. Can we talk about the game called or named Animal Crossing doesn't allow you to create hybrid animals. <laughs> poot poot. I mean, we can. We can talk about that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a save here because I wasn't sure if I did one before we went on break. But I hope you're all having a good day. And by the way, question of the day, if you are joining us for the first time today, um, or maybe you have multiple answers, uh, in your opinion, what game do you think everyone should try at least once? What game do you want to see everyone try out? 36k? That's mainly because of the diamond, but still. You're simping ladies in Fire Emblem. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so we don't have a birthday until Ralph, and then the next day is the fireworks display, which now that we're dating Rena, we might actually be able to go with her. Oh, Tater fell asleep in the kitchen. That's fine. <laughs> um, alrighty. Let's see here. Uh, oh, we got some crops to harvest. Okay, so that's the end of the eggplants. I'll go and plant something new, I think. I would just plant more pineapple, but... I would say Mario Galaxy is so good, and the OST is amazing. I'm down for that. I appreciate that answer. There we go, nice. Um, alrighty, so we're gonna go put away these in the fridge. Just so we have a nice supply of, of crops to make recipes with. And I want to do some more of the little vet things today, if we have the right materials. I want to cross animals. <laughs> Which ones would you cross, Rebecca? Make a version try once. It's cheap, it's indie, it's on everything, and there's a lot to love. I love that answer. I very much agree. Stardew is a very, very solid game. Like my husband said, I tend to like niche genres of games. I mean, even then, you know, even then, maybe there's something so niche that we haven't had the chance to try it yet, and we wouldn't know about it otherwise. Is it really, Rosie? I had not heard about that. <laughs> oh my. Oh, random, no. <laughs> I just tried to water my shipping bin. Ooh, the autopilot. Are these done? Yeah, there we go. Try a gacha game once. I wish I enjoyed the mechanics of those a bit more. Fortunately, they kind of put me off. Hi, Sandra. How are you today? Okay, so I have 18 squares again. Um, I'll find something to plant. I'm just not too sure what just yet. Come on out, you guys. Uh, I need my bucket. And, uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna update or upgrade my bucket today, so I'm not gonna bother with that puddle just yet. Do you not want to be sheared? That's weird. Huh. 
Super Mario Brothers 3. Hi, Cat. How are you? Me for a very late birthday dinner for my boyfriend and I with my mom. All of our snowstorms are moving. Oh, you never got to celebrate. Yeah, well, I hope that you guys have a good one then. Glad that you're getting around to it as well. Oh, cat, no worries. No worries. Um, right, so I want to upgrade. So we're going to bring silver and... Oh, I could get the stable today, too. Should we get the horse? Do you guys have any... <laughs> Tater, are you okay, bud? <laughs> and we should also buy a pet. Do you guys have any ideas for horse names? But the only living thing I saw was a little mouse. Kangaroo feet and sparrow wings. That sounds so fascinating. Your favorite Italian restaurant? Yes. What are you planning on getting? If you're the type to already go in knowing, because I know I am. Uh oh, I only need the that for it. Should I upgrade my uh no, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna be good. Yep, it has its own stable. Uh, it is actually torn down in the third area right now, but we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. And that'll allow us to adopt the horse, I believe. Are you getting a hunger affection? I like how I saw when I was on break. You're like, I'm in my blanket and I'm not moving until I need food. Five minutes later, I need food. <laughs> I think that was you. And also, it's a mood. It is very much a mood. Oh, I always have to get their spaghetti parm. Um, thinking about the question of the day, I think my answer is going to be Portal. I think most people who start it will actually then attempt to complete it. Exactly, it's worth it. It's relatively short. Um, it doesn't overstay its welcome. And I think sometimes games like those are a lot easier to complete than the long ones that you have to really dedicate time to. Okay, uh, so we're going to take these. Let's go get that horse chat. We could still go with restaurant names. Um, so if you guys are joining us, our coop is called KFC. Our barn is called Dairy Queen. Uh, we have strips and nugget for our chickens. And we have, I think, blizzard, vanilla, and sundae for our barn animals. So I don't really want to eat the horse, <laughs> mind you. All right, what are? Oh wait, this is the name for the for the uh, heck uh, the stable. I don't know if we have any good ideas for a stable and a horse name. If you guys do, let me know. If not, I will name it Stable, and no one will stop me. I'm trying to think if there's any like fast food that has a horse mascot, but I don't think there is, at least not here. Unstable. I mean, that's tempting, actually. That's a mood. That is a mood. Um, you know what? Yeah. Captain D's. It's a seafood place in the States. I have never heard of it. <laughs> Old stable. I always name things after flowers for the buildings. Cracker barrel. <laughs> Unstable be relatable. I'm gonna go with unstable. Just because that is amusing to me. Uh, you can now own a horse. Horses are low maintenance, so you don't have to feed them or pet them, but be sure to give them a proper thank you whenever you ride them somewhere. Essentially, you are just a fancy vehicle. Rosie! <laughs> uh, I had to rent the proper facility. Unstable, here you go. Alright, what are we naming it? What are we naming the horse now? This is this is the big name. This is the important one. Doc. Chaco. Michael, we're not naming him Glue. Lucky Maximus. See, okay, here's the Lucky. We're not naming him Meatball. <laughs> Lucky is was the name of my little Chihuahua in uh, in Nintendo Dogs, which by the way, we gotta talk about that in a second. Elmer. 
Uh, Rosie, how do I even pronounce that? <laughs> caramel. To be fair, caramel would go with the other names. Lasagna. Hush puppy lasagna. <laughs> do we like lasagna, the horse? Butter butterscotch is cute too. Oh, gosh darn it. Like sink so club. the name of the horse from Never Ending Story. I've never seen it. Um, okay, I am stuck currently between butterscotch and lasagna. You guys choose. <laughs> I'm seeing a couple for butterscotch. Spirit? Oh, I love that movie. If we're thinking of the same thing. But the OG, I don't know about any of this new nonsense. Butterscotch? Butterscotch, okay. Butterscotch it is. Butterscotch? I literally just adopted him and he's like, I am out. I want nothing to do with this nonsense. Uh, so I'm gonna have to find a place to move the stable closer to my house. That's kind of the, the ideal location. Where is my horse? <laughs> I've already lost it. Okay. Well, um, I'm thinking maybe what we can do is, oh, but I don't really want to move these chests again. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll just move the chests and then have the horse down here. I might just move the horse down there on my own. Lurking, look at new keyboards, mice. No worries. <sighs> Loose horse check. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clear it away. There he is. I think he was glitched out a bit there because he was right underneath of it. Um, and I'm just going to go put it down over here. And hopefully he'll still be there when I get back. Ideally, I actually would prefer to have him up here. And that's still a possibility, but it would mean moving all of those, which I could just put them over here. Oh, chat, now I'm thinking about redoing my entire farm. Unstable. I hate how you have to rename it. I'm so sorry for punching the undersound of my microphone, by the way. Oh, cat, thank you. I know it's been more than 46 months. Lol hope to be able to keep up the sub for a while again smile been following this playthrough and at bedtime. Have a great day all less than three. Thank you. No, no worries. Like I, I know I've, I've had so many lovely people who have come through here uh, who haven't been able to sub right away, didn't want to sub right away, um, or never have subbed and they've just been here forever and I, I do appreciate that. I really do, so thank you so very much for it. Whether you're subbed or not. There you are. I think you were a little glitched out. Horses allow for much faster movement. You can take you wherever you need to go. To dismount your horse, press O. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Yay, I got a horse. Alrighty. Objective number two for today. I need to get crops. So, uh, I don't think I have planted zucchinis yet. And I don't think I've done pumpkins either. Alright, thing number three that we need to do today, chat. We're on a roll. I want my Ollie. Give me my boy. Oh, okay, so this is, this is the one that we uh, named Tater. That was our doggo. Uh, that could have also worked, but this one has the eyebrows. Uh, God, I love laughs. Oh, it's just a bear to me now. <laughs> uh, we have huskies, we have border collies, we have... This is probably going to be Ollie. He doesn't have that much white on him, but it is the closest I think we have. And then this is our old cat pancake. Um... Uh, 
So this is Ollie. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I should go Oliver or Ollie. Um. Oh, he is mischievous. Oh no, that that's definitely Ollie. <laughs> Oliver and Co. Good catch. I didn't even take a look at the personality. Yay. Yeah, the animals in this game are cute. I will say I might slightly prefer Friends of My Old Town's animals because you could have a capybara, but I'm also very biased. All right, where's my cat? Oh, there you- oh wait, no, that's Tater. Ollie! There we go. I'm gonna let him sit and just enjoy the sunshine this afternoon. I won't drag him around the town quite yet. Mainly because I'm assuming you can't while you're on your horse. I don't know. Did I upgrade my bucket? I did. Cool. I don't remember doing it. <laughs> A capybara is very hard to beat. Yeah. Minecraft should add capybaras. Everything should have a capybara. I don't even know where to get one of those. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I should probably also bring Rena something today here. trying to press X to get off uh, of the horse and I'm still not sure I must have been playing a game where that was the controls because it, it feels wrong that it's not working okay so she likes those you first have had to build a dam with blankets yes 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 I've seen that as well it's very cute I don't know um how they are is like pets because I know some people have like raccoons and stuff and like they can make it work but also you know they're not maybe as tame as you know standard cat or dog. <laughs> oh. So you look absolutely adorable today I mean you do every day but still I'm falling in love with you all over again oh well I wasn't expecting such nice dialogue here Holy moly, you're really sure it's okay for me to have this? That's so cute, my god. Hey, Vincent, no worries, how are you? Also, hydrate, I will. I will. I'm also just gonna take off my watch here. Um, it's uh, digging into my wrist again. I think it's because it's how I rest my uh, my hand. When I'm using the controller, it like digs in in a really awkward place. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca, a lot of those ones that have just certain things that are kind of different, whether it's like little short legs or the, uh, which can relate also very short, <laughs> um, or the, uh, the folded ears and stuff is because of uh, it's it's breeding for an issue essentially. Oh, catching up on your shows! I hope you've been having fun with that. Don't ever say sorry. You were not late. You were here precisely uh, when you want to be, and that's good. Or precisely at the right time. Let's say that much. So excited for a wonderful life sim here. I'll just be vibing, minding my own business, and every now and then it just kind of hits me. It's like a wonderful life is coming out this year. <laughs> and then I get excited and I have like a moment. I used to be great pets, but I love dogs too much. I used to be great for anxiety, but my doggo gets me up and out of the house. Yes. Yeah, and that's very important. Right, sorry, I had time for the noise. This should be a lot faster than before, though. There we go. Yeah. 
Actually, speaking of, uh, yesterday Mike and I stopped by our, uh, I guess, local dedicated pet store. Um, we were out at the mall yesterday, so we decided to pop in. Um, because I always like looking at the guinea pigs. And, uh, they had this real cutie who, um, so both of my previous guinea pigs were the more, like, spiky hair ones. They weren't smooth haired. But there was this one who was almost fully smooth hair, except he had a little mohawk going down his head, down his spine. And he was so cute. <laughs> he was watching me while he was eating, and I'm like, I would take you in a second. If I had the space, money, and time. <laughs> and, and he would need a friend, too. That's a mistake I won't make again. They are social animals. I know, guinea pigs are just, they're such little sweet potatoes, you know? And they really are, they're just potato shaped. Yeah, Rebecca, it's something I'm very, very, like, it's the same thing I say to Mike. Like, you know, if I found one of those, for example, I'm not gonna turn it away. You know, if I found it outside or whatever, obviously. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to get one from a breeder either. I had a right skinny pig. Oh, yeah, with the super, super curly hair. Yeah, the goat plush, right? Yeah, pugs, unfortunately, too. There's a lot of them, and it's, it's so unfortunate. Animals don't deserve that. Yeah, the toy breeds. Yeah, you can get rid of the puddles like that. Not like the lakes, but you can get rid of the, the big puddles. Which is nice, because <laughs> they're everywhere. Okay, so my inventory is pretty much full up with those uh, thingies now. Which is a bit annoying. Uh, I think these are actually going in the fridge. <laughs> Tater and Ollie, they're so cute. Oh, uh, some of these are higher quality. Yeah, I, I was. It was years and years ago. I must have been a teenager. I just had TV on and it was like this documentary on... I think it was... Uh, English Bulldogs? I believe? And it was just going into uh, how they were bred for show. Um, and it was this breeder who was having a, a litter delivered and how a lot of them didn't make it because they just couldn't breathe from the beginning, and it's just, it was upsetting. Uh, and I think that was the first time I'd also ever seen a, um, a picture of what they used to look like. Originally, I had, I had no idea that they, they didn't always look the way they did until that point. This is filling up again, but worth it. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go clear a little bit more. But on the whole, we're, our inventory is gonna be full with these things for a while, so. Next reads my doggo is a chihuahua terrier mix when I was talking to the vet after adopting her what to expect because I only own bigger breeds they said typically chihuahuas are prone to heart problems but terrier part would actually knock the wrist down yeah yep I'm just a big fan of just big old mutt dogs <laughs> just like big question marks we don't know what breed you are but you're cute you know Oh, 
Okay, well that was a lot less clearing. What do I need for the pumps again? Because that's something we want to look into. Brick and silver. I can probably get one of those going actually right now. Um, just to get that big like sort of clear because I know that there's like treasures and other goodies and all that good stuff. Yep, eye problems. Um, I also have a condiment maker. I try and make one of those. I feel like I should start making some of these in particular, like cheese and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll craft one of those right now. That happened to Bell, your pug later on in life. Yeah. There we go, using suction pumps, if you set a pump by a pond or lake, it'll automatically suck up water each day. In order to properly function, suction pumps need to be fueled with coal. Uh, and you know what? I'm also going to do the butter maker here as well. We don't really have the milk for all this yet, uh, but I'm sure we will soon. Are you going to pre-order it? Uh, that being said, I don't really have a lot of room. Oh, my bag's full. Of course my bag's full. Alrighty, bear with me. <laughs> uh, let's put some stuff away. Bandit being aggressive, you and a dog suspects that's part of those races you have to prove that it's not for it to be not illegal yeah true true you, you should like do your research for sure for that there we go i think i remember having multiple set up for this because it does take a long time otherwise um let's see I'm trying to see where a good place to set these up would be. I'm going to set them up maybe along this road here. That is not down yet, but it will be eventually. Don't judge. And you know what? I'm actually going to do this a bit differently. There we go. Cheese, butter, and... These ones. I don't think I technically need this may or like mayo machines, but um, I guess when we have different kinds of chicken eggs, that'll be handy. Oh, yeah, dyeing their hair. Yeah, that's not good either, of course. Okay, well, our inventory is really, really full, so I'm going to have to see Rena like, first thing tomorrow. Uh, but that was a really productive day. It's raining good. I don't have to water anything. We don't have any birthdays coming up anytime soon. Tater's doing his thing. Ollie's already awake and running around, just like real life Ollie. Although his meow sounds nothing like that. That seems so silly to me. Like, that's so short sighted, like, assuming. Those people won't be able to get back in contact with you when ev evidently, you know, the hair grows out. That's so silly. Um, all right, so we we can uh, put down some more something. I don't know, maybe more pineapple. 
because I think I've grown all the other summer crops here. I wish this didn't make a loud digging noise. I think I'm due for a backpack upgrade. <laughs> I keep running out of room. Oh, but that might have something to do with it. Fund the cat though, so they paid for it. It's this tricky thing with animal breeders because they're live creatures. It's yeah, I would still want to go after them for like false advertisement or whatever if you could prove it. But that'd be the hard part. <laughs> Hi, Sentry. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. How is your Saturday training? I keep forgetting it's Saturday today. I said that so many times, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> So, water. I play Final Fantasy VII original on stream. Maybe. I'm going through it right now off stream and having a really good time with it. Um, but I don't know if I plan to go through it on stream again anytime soon. I'd be more likely to do remake. What sort of sandwich you got? Yeah, I'd be more likely to do remake sometime soon because I haven't gone through integrate yet on stream. And with the PS5 now I can really easily. Sliced chicken sandwich? Oh no. You say just as I enter my bar or my coop, sorry. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I think I was keeping those for now. And why don't we try making cheese and butter today since we already have a lot of the yogurt. Just don't count your chickens. All right. Note taken. Count them excessively. Um. What was I just thinking of? Chat. Right, Rena. We gotta go see her first thing. I feel like we're definitely gaining a lot of money here quickly. It's. Probably because of the diamonds, if I'm honest, but we're doing pretty good. Oh, you're not open today. Okay. I want to plant more pineapples. <laughs> hmm? I don't know, probably enjoying his Sonic game. Crystal, you're here. You always seem to pop up just when I need you. you sure you're not some kind of guardian angel? So basically, this artifact has been damaged and I don't know what to do about it. Apparently it costs a lot of money to fix. So I was gonna ask you if... Um... How much does it cost? <laughs> no, silly, I wasn't telling you to pay up. One person can't come for something like this by themselves. We'll need everyone to pitch in. We're creating a donation fund for its repair, but I'm stumped on a name. Could you help me think of one? I've been brainstorming a bunch of catchy ideas. I was thinking something like Rena's Rainy Day Fundraiser or Save the Artifact. But Gloria shot both of those down. Bet you can think up some good ones though, just say whatever comes to mind. Um, the all of you very much campaign. <laughs> it's a cute pond that might be a perfect match for us. Okay, keep it up, we're gonna need at least 99 more suggestions according to Gloria. She said she wanted like a hundred of them. Ugh, but all this thinking is making me hungry. Thing comes to an end eventually, huh? From brainstorming sessions to ancient civilizations. It's a little too deep for me, though. I must be hungrier than I thought. How about we go grab a bite somewhere? Okay, first off, let's go talk to her. 
You're here just to see me, Crystal Doll. You're so precious. Not in the best mood ever. Love you. Oh, I wasn't expecting the dialogue to be so nice. <laughs> Little excited dance. This is very cute. It is. Alrighty, get ready to hear that. Very quietly, at least, but we're gonna appraise a whole bunch of items here. There we go. This is actually great, too, because I feel like there's probably a lot that I haven't donated yet. In fact, I know that there's a lot that we haven't donated. Of course, I got two of the same thing. Three of the same thing. Really? Why? <laughs> Why are we like this? Four? Okay, well, I think the game's a little broken. It's not the same thing. I, I, the game is, it, it listened. It's like, no, I'm not broken. I'm fine. Please don't reset me. <laughs> oh, Rebecca. Yeah, no, that is kind of a weird section. See, I really like this method because it's cool. You don't really know what you're going to get. It's kind of like, you know, a random grab bag, right? But, um, I kind of wish it, uh, didn't make me appraise them one at a time. Like, I guess, I, I guess the geodes are kind of similar in Stardew, right? Crack them open. But there isn't a loading screen between each. Okay. Hello. I got legit one new thing to donate. Out of two things- oh my god, I've literally only donated two things so far. And the- oh, every time, yeah. Okay, uh, let me grab- let me grab Tater for There he is, he was hiding behind Mike's bag. So if I'll talk in again. Oh, you're snuggly, your doggo. Oh, will do. <laughs> there we go. Kind of sucks he's blocked off, but I really like having the socials down here because it's not blocking anything. That was my big issue with the uh, the layout I had going on before. This is much better. Okay, um, so I can't buy more crops. Just nomming your food. What do you got? What do you what do you got? So I can be jealous. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight. We might be doing buffalo chicken. It just arrived. No, I don't. I don't want to know what that person liked at all. That's their life, not mine. <laughs> Alright, Humanoid Grey, we'll see you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, should I go mining? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do... Ooh, chicken burger and fries. That sounds good. I'm just gonna do a quick Google here. Or I could just do some cooking. I might just do some cooking. I was gonna Google, like, best you know, recipes for regaining your, your stamina for in the mines, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do some cooking. I should probably eat something and not just drink tea. That might be an idea. <laughs> I know you're kind of living up to your name a bit, but you gotta have something else. I have, yeah, I went on break at 1230. Uh, Ruko. private conversation in public. Don't you want to know about that? No. <laughs> no, I don't think. Do I know how to make this?
Oh, maybe I don't know how to make this. Oh, no, it's right there. Uh, what is that? Oh, right, sugar. We ran into this last time. I remember this now. Uh, we might be able to make a maker. Make a maker. <laughs> we go badly counter. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna go double check the grocery store, but I might need to actually sell it for it to be sold there. If you're open, everything seems to be closed on Says Hi! Oh, it's a welcome to our- ow, shoot. Ugh, nothing's been going right lately. You know, my daughter Laura, right? I don't know where the time went, but before I knew it, she grew into a proper adult with a job and everything. And I'm proud of her, but I can never get any good father-daughter bonding time with her anymore. No chats, no nothing. My wife comes home on the weekends, they talk up a storm, but she doesn't have a word to spare for her dear old dad. I hear most fathers go through the same thing, so I know I shouldn't worry about it too much. But sometimes it just weighs down on me, it does. I'm at a loss, but you, you're about the same age as my Laura. Got any sage advice for this old man? Um... Try listening to the same music. I don't know. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I can't say I'm much of a fan of what passes for music these days, but now that attitude won't get me anywhere. I need to broaden my horizons. This was a productive discussion. I'm feeling much better now that I've gotten that off my chest. You're a good listener, you know? If anything's ever troubling you, you can come straight to me. I'd be more than happy to return the favor. Anyway, thanks for today. That's really cute. What a nice cutscene. But the question is, do you have sugar? You have honey. I haven't sold that yet. I don't think. I might have actually. No, you don't have sugar. Okay. What passes for music? Norman is a boomer at heart. <laughs> God, my hair keeps falling down in front of my face today. Um. Uh, so, I think I saw the maker we need. I think it's the seasoning one. Hopefully. Okay. Not that I really want this. Like, I kind of wish I could put this indoors, but I don't think that's possible. Let's see. Can I make sugar? Oops. Uh, Blue, let me go back and check. I just want to make sure I actually saw what you said in the first place. Sorry, it's cycling through. If you have a text bubble like that, you can pet them again. It's like they ask for extra attention. Yes, 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 yes. I really should do that more often. But uh, thank you for the reminder. Oh, apparently I'm not. Clicked back in. There we go. There we go, that's how we get sugar, so I'm just gonna throw in a whole bunch of those. Um, and I think I'm gonna do some fishing. Maybe. Mm. No, I am. Yes, we're gonna go fishing. <laughs> I need to work on that. Um, although I kind of want to upgrade if I can, my fishing rod today. It's closed today, never mind, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> the fact that, like, everything is either closed on Thursday or Tuesday in this game, not my favorite. I keep forgetting. <gasps> I didn't put coal in that, did I? I literally read out loud, it needs coal to run. And then I didn't put coal in it. Okay. 
I don't know how much it takes, how long it lasts, so I'm just gonna grab the full, full bundle of it. Oh, you want refined, do you? You fancy, okay. takes five at a time. Okay. Good to know. So let's go fishing in the like lake area. Tired of Twitch on the other hand, going back to full screen from mini player. Yeah, I've been having a lot of issues with Twitch recently, but it's been on the uh on the TV, the TV app. It uh it updated recently and it's just it crashes pretty much every hour or two um and the worst i've noticed is if a streamer um switches game categories it'll say they've gone offline and you have to navigate back to that streamer and just it was really frustrating when we were trying to watch aggq where they change categories obviously very often <laughs> uh okay i definitely already have that one lunar see hello how are you Yeah, like the the TV app on the uh, the Fire Stick worked perfectly beforehand, and it's just it's now it's not working. <gasps> Maybe I do need a better fishing rock, so I haven't really caught anything new in a while. Okay, so those are all pretty standard. Uh, I always forget that you can fish in these. Uh, and by the way, friends, question of the day, if you were just joining us, uh, if you could get everyone to try one game, just one game, what would you want everyone to give a, give a chance to? Exactly right. It's a little weird that the fish are even in there in the first place. I like the idea that they just kind of got, like, washed up, <laughs> blown around in a storm or something. Okay, I'm gonna check out the river of Area 2 now. Now that I know that the different areas kind of have different things. To check this beach more often. I always leave it. Although it seems like they're not like not spawning because I'm not checking it very often. There might also be fish for all I know as well that can only be got via the traps. Um, we kind of tested out the traps earlier. They're single use which I'm not really fond of. I wish I had known that ahead of time. <laughs> Hey, Rena, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Uh, 
Uh, ooh, our sugar's already done, so we can go and hand in that thing for Lovette here. inventory in here is actually a bit full. I can't put that coal anywhere specific, so I'll just put it in there for now. Um, I'm just gonna sell those off. A lot better. I'm still coughing stuff up, but at least I can talk. No horse voice. I was able to get some tea yesterday. Honey based, herbal based. Sorry, honey-based herbal tea yesterday was added. Honey and lemon. That sounds really good. I'm glad that you're feeling a bit better as well. Uh, Alright, let's cook up this final thing for a little bit. Oh, that's good. That's really good. go finally oh, I never noticed it lets you take from your bag and from your fridge at the same time that's really nice okay so I think there's like levels to this and like he'll ask for harder ones I think this is just the first level A new machine for that. Lovette has acknowledged your culinary efforts and has posted up new, more difficult requests. Okay. Mixed salad, hot and sour soup, tempura. Okay, coffee, honey yogurt, and oh, that we just finished. And now I got a powder maker. <laughs> All right. I might try to sell the other sugar we got here. Actually, I'll just take this one. Um, just because it might make the grocery store start selling it a chance. That seems to be how this game works. Uh, let's go try to make some of those recipes. <laughs> Omni. All right, so mixed salad. Uh, let's take some tomato. And I'll take some of those and one of these. What else did they want? Um, I think hot and sour soup was one. Tempura was definitely another. Oh, I just sold some of that heck. <laughs> Uh, honey yogurt was another. I need to fix that honey thing. And I know coffee was another one. I don't even know how to make that yet, apparently. Omni, how's your Saturday treating you? Uh, but you know, I realized... Uh, actually all of these should be in the fridge here. Oh, I don't have room for everything. Okay. <laughs> we are yet again out of space. Um, I sell off some of these finished dishes here just to make some room. Oh wow, that got us 
two new makers. Seasoning and a condiment one. Oh, I'd love to hear it. I hope that you enjoy your uh, your coffee and your carbs. A new puppy, a chihuahua named Nami. She's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I would love to see pictures. Oh, I guess this means we have two different seasoning makers. <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate. Um, hmm. I'm gonna pick this up. And pick that one up. I kind of want to redo all this here. But it's gonna be a big project. Let's see. Um, maybe I won't do it right now, but I, I do want to do that at some point. <laughs> and you know what? For now, we're just gonna put these down here. Um, I think the layout I kind of want to go for right now is having the stable up here. It's close to the exit and entrance to the farm. Um, and then probably having the chess on the other side. I think. <laughs> um, and then the makers, because they're kind of outgrowing this area pretty quickly, just all throughout here. I think that would work better. Um, and I'm also just gonna grab this and I want to make some more stone paths here. Just a few picks. Perfect. I'll go check those out uh, after stream here, probably. Yeah, Brandon, actually, that reminds me. Um, a couple things I wanted to mention, but that's a good starting point. Uh, Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden <laughs> are uh, on consoles now, I guess. Um, I'm glad that they're porting those, but... Um, and again, I haven't fully beat Persona 3, or 4 for that matter, um, but I'm really not big on what I've seen of Persona 3 uh, Portable, personally. So I'm having- I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna get it, because I, I already have gold on, on Steam. But if you don't have access to it anywhere else, it might be, you know, worth it. Yeah, I've heard some not so great things about the port also, which is kind of eh. <laughs> Back from nomming your food. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, and I don't know if you guys heard, I think it's still a big rumor. So of course, take everything with a massive grain of salt. Um, but I heard there's been rumblings of potentially Nintendo's next mobile game being Nintendogs focused. And if they do it right, dear lord chat, I will be so, so happy. I've missed Nintendogs. Imagine being able to go out and walk, like, you know, Pokemon, you go out and you hatch your eggs, right? Imagine the same kind of thing, but with your puppy and going out for a walk and just if they do it right, I will be so happy. No, no, no. Mobile. Not on Switch. Mobile. <laughs> that's that's the rumor, at least. How so? That would be kind of cool. I want Nintendo Dogs, but I don't want the in-game app purchases. Pokemon Go with puppies, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, good morning, Crystal. I've got some new ideas for a town development project, and you were the first person I want to tell. 
I'm aware we've done something like this before, but I'm thinking about taking our roads and lamps to an even greater level. Here's a plan. We'll get ideas from everyone in town with the theme of uh, an olive town for all of us. Sure to generate some buzz. I can hardly wait to see how our infrastructure ends up looking. I'm sure you'll feel just the same. Bulletin, bulletin board's got all the information you'll need. I'll leave the task in your capable hands. Buy food for your dog for one dollar if it's not fit every day. It dies. It's so upsetting. That, my friends, is how rumors spread even more. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said just biggest grain of salt. Like, find a salt lick for all I care, you know? Where's Ollie? God, he's probably found somewhere up high to hide. Oh, there he is. He was outside. I need to start bringing Ollie on walks with me, actually. Oops. It might, it might, to be honest. I'm not really sure, I don't have the comparison. Okay, good. So a lot of these are empty now, which is great. Uh, cause I'm gonna be moving them all today anyway, I've decided. Yeah, that's the thing I've noticed. I like the fact that the villagers will talk about upcoming events and things that have just happened and updates to the town, but it does get very, very repetitive. Uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to decide what I should move first. <laughs> We're doing good. I don't like how this path here is working, unfortunately. There's very little I can do about it, though. I might just have to make it a one tall path if it bugs me. Yeah, and like a fair number of NPCs to go along with it. Absolutely. This is the unstable for the third time. Much better. Oh, hello. There we go. Um, so there's that moved. I might just put the path it lets me like up here right in front of it so that these don't really connect per se but I think it'll look a bit better than what I had going on Oops. I should probably also let our animals out before I get too much into this uh, I'll go do that in a second here You really prefer Trio of Towns? Well, I own it, so at some point. I can't remember which one I- because I feel like that one was ported to 3DS at one point, wasn't it? Where did I go? Oh. That's not meant to be there. <laughs> there we go. Um, I can't remember which version I own, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Came out on the 3DS, it was the last one to come out. Oh, Tale of Two Towns is the other one. Okay. Maybe I don't own Tree of Towns then. I'll have to check. I remember there being one where you're going like over a mountain, I think. To visit the other town. But again, it, it's been a very long time. That's Tale of Two Towns? Okay, so I don't have Trio of Towns then. I, for some reason, I, I read the title and I thought they were the exact same, just a port of one to, like, DS to 3DS. Didn't even question it. I was like, yeah, okay. 
That sounds about normal. <laughs> I'll look into it because I, I really want to do some more more farming sims, you know. Ooh, I also want to go buy some uh pineapples. What do you name the cat, Ollie? He is mischievous. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought I clicked on the door and it was giving me its opening hours, and I'm like, it is not Tuesday, and it is in between your open hours. I just clicked on the sign. It was just me being silly. Arcane, welcome back from Notlurg. Three night, two towns, three towns, you have to prove you can be a farmer to your dad. Get the towns rank up to S. Yeah, so that, that last one sounds very different. Okay. Well, good to know. Today I learned. I haven't watered my crops yet either. That might also be a good idea. Oh, Ollie, you're gonna get wet. Not that he minds. IRL Ollie actually doesn't mind. He likes to splash in his cat fountain. Oh, you went grocery shopping. Oh, and then there's a difficulty mode. Okay. I think True of Towns was their remake. It's just, it's very similar titles, <laughs> to be fair. And like I said, I kind of got back into it around, um, God, what would it have been? Um, uh, a New Beginning. So like, I, I was a little bit out of the loop. I want to try to have two sets of boxes there. I think that'll work. And you know what? I'll organize these at some other point. Oops. What are you, uh, what are you planning on ordering? This is a slow process, but it'll be better once I can actually put down some of these makers. Oh, some McDonald's. Sounds good. set up here. Thankfully this chest is very minimal. So there's not really- I don't know why I'm keeping that. That must be something I can donate. <laughs> it's just kind of there. Uh, I'll put that in there for now. And then this area is clear for us to organize here. There we go. That is so much better already. Um, I'm gonna put down some paths here. Or pick up these, I guess. He's a cute villager. Um, I can actually start putting some of these down here, I guess. Just kind of like pre plan where they're going. 
Oh, oh, okay. Uh... I don't remember what that one had. Oh, wait, no, this one was just kind of, like, paths and stuff. For now. Hey, Ferocious, good! How are you doing? Okay, so, we have our, uh, or, or ingot machines. Oh, this has to be cleared first. This is a big one, too. <laughs> Heck. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna start transferring. Which manga are you reading? I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, this is really just a test of storage and organization. Lurk and play your 3DS. Enjoy. Oh, wait. No, I don't want that one to be that. Chobits. Why does that sound familiar? I feel like I've met someone with that username recently, actually. Okay. Just let you move the storage boxes and stuff is beyond me. I never move mine. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. But I just, I really want things to be organized a certain way. <laughs> it's such a, it's just a downfall for this game, unfortunately. Actually, it's the same thing, though, when you're moving, like, your stables and stuff. It's so strange. It is so strange. Oi, Finn, how are you today? Welcome on into Moving Simulator. Uh, where we're... <laughs> Trying our best to move everything. And also completely ruining any organization systems I may have had in place beforehand. Oh, right. This is where this gets annoying, because... Eh. Okay, I might have to redo these, but it's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. God, I, I've been very much enjoying this game again. And they've added so many really nice quality of life changes. What got added in here? There we go. Um, and it made it so worthwhile, but it's so frustrating sometimes with their their design choices. Okay, um, so let's see. How high up can these go? Okay, so let's just redo these to match that or else it'll drive me crazy in the long run. Much better. Stop redoing. <laughs> it has to look good. It has to look at least semi-decent. If Rena's gonna come live with us on this farm, gotta impress the lady. I mean, it's gonna come in and have absolutely zero cares about any of this. She's gonna be like, why? Why are you doing this? I could have made it alternating. I could have. Um, Alright, I think next up is gonna be our gems and stuff. She's a lady. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm just gonna... Grab my bucket. Get rid of that. Put this one down here. Okay, so mining materials, wood materials. I think this one's gonna turn into flowers. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Makes sense to me for that to be in a wooden box. So it 
should not be in there. Oh, okay. Um, this is... Lord knows. I don't know. Something's happening in there. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, that goes there. That bin was empty. Uh, and this one's almost empty. Found his romance past so weird. Can you a paper parasol? It was in your shop today. <laughs> random shit. That, do we? Can we all just admit we all have like a random drawer, probably in your kitchen, that's just stuff. Just random stuff. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's pretty much it, but for my farm. Okay, so our gem makers go next because I'm probably gonna have a lot of those in the long run. Because monies. And then I guess the seasoning. Oh, it doesn't work here. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I do it in my bedroom every time actually it just gets messy again, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh no. Okay. Why did I have all these I feel like I have more chests than I need at the moment. Mining, junk drawer. Why do I have these? <laughs> Who am I? Me, but all my chests in Stardew. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right also. Although I, I do try to keep those organized with like colors and stuff. Oh, I have another one of these. Whoopsies. Didn't realize of those. Uh, how many I had of those. Okay, so I guess the textile maker, you can probably go at the bottom of this because these all go into that. Um, I might. Oh, hey, Babbitt. I'm so sorry you're dealing with a migraine. Dear Lord. I had a really nasty one after I finished Toem the other day. It was so bad. I might just put these here, even though they're not... Oh, there's an extra row here. That's not okay. <laughs> um... God, what was I on about? I don't even remember. Anyway, Babbitt, welcome on in. I'm sorry you're dealing with a migraine. I hope that goes away soon. And you feel better. Butter. They're in a slightly different order, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put the... Maybe that's what I was on about. I'm gonna put the food kind of processing ones here, even though I'm not necessarily getting these from the barn animals. In my head, that makes sense. Uh, that is a brick maker. That is not something you could do for the animals. <laughs> Oh no, Finn, yeah. Yeah, it sucks when you forget something and then you're like, oh wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, so I think there's gonna be another type of ore here, so I'm just gonna put this one down a space. And that's pretty organized. How many spaces is this? Two, three, four. I might be able to add an additional. Oh, never mind. It's gonna add an additional row of props, but I don't think I can. I can do that up here. She's a mayor food process makes sense to me, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to add in a full additional row because this. Um, but you know what? Maybe I'll like do some like hedges and, and pretty stuff in there. How about that? 
Not to have the farm on a diagonal map. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Also, hoi. I think, like, if you're gonna let us design, you know, give us a little bit more freedom. The the spacing around objects and stuff in this game is really silly. And very restrictive, you know? Diagonal paths, yeah. Got a Red Bull hat, uh oh. They're bright. Also, the same device in order to make more things than just upgrading a single device. The back to nature feel is kind of lost when you've got rows of machines, yeah. On your land, exactly. Has drove me crazy in this game, yeah. Like, already, it's doable, but this right here that doesn't connect, it's not my favorite. And the fact that I couldn't put it here, you know, this is just no man's land. But yeah, I'll make some like hedges or, or something, and that'll hopefully be a bit better. I'll, I'll organize these at some other point. <laughs> Newly flashback, right? Um, I guess I'll put cheese in there for now. And everything else can go away properly. But this does look a lot better already. This this makes me happy. I'm kinda tempted. Actually, you know. No, it looks good. It's okay. It's decent. I'll, I will accept it. Alrighty, so was that the most productive in-game day? No. Do things seem a lot more organized now? Yes. <laughs> so I could not even complain. I'm just gonna put down Tater for a bit. I don't know what it is, but my... Oh, did you? <laughs> I was already holding him. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Here he is. He is being held again for the time being. I was gonna say, um, my, uh, my shoulders and my neck have been incredibly sore and stiff today. I have no idea why. Sitting in this chair for four years, I shouldn't have any pain. But, hey Crystal, you got a moment? Something I want to talk to you about. I promise it won't take too much of your precious time. It ain't nothing bad either. You see, we're holding our local fireworks display in three days. Summer and fireworks go together like lumber and a good saw. It'll be the event of the season, I guarantee you. Remember, that's three days from now. Hope you're looking forward to it. Did you just say four years? Yes, indeedy. I got this chair... Like... 2019? First year I went to fully go and uh, stream full-time. Oh, Muffins, thank you! I I don't see the alert. If you want to try refreshing, it might pop up. But if you don't need the alert, that's cool, too. It was a tater takeover. I'm so confused. Was it a tater takeover? Okay. I heard- I saw tater cold, but I got you. <laughs> Enjoy! There he is. There's the boy. Where's your controller? Wrong one. Not that one. That one. There we go. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> I thought it was a, a hold tater. That means I can put down IRL tater and uh, rest my shoulders a bit, dear lord. Oh, I need to put everything back in. That might be an idea. Uh, now, bear with. I'm gonna try to use my gas and Oh, this is weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I was hoping this might be easy. How do okay, never mind. I'm just gonna use controller because that's what I know. Why was this so confusing? <laughs> it was supple and then durable, I think. That was the new one. And that one, there we go. All right, and then we had grass, tough grass, no nope, flexible, and then tough, then that one, and then that one. 
Look at me go, chat. I know where things go. Kind of. I feel like I'm missing some thread here. How do I manage this? I am. And then you're gonna change your layout again. You know it. Oh, is Vic moving in? Vic seems cool. Also, why is there wool in here? Oh, there's the thread. Never mind. Alrighty. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab these out just to put them back on to be worked at. So there is standard logs, solid ones, supple, and durable. And we also got standard grass, flexible, tough, garage, and uh, smooth. <laughs> Brandon. I know, I know. That's the other thing this game is missing is a gosh darn sort button. Like, I have a certain way I like to organize things, but if there's a dedicated sort button, I'll just use that. I don't care. I will adapt. Thirty is the max for you. Don't find them. I let the spot out of fill because I could take someone I also like during the hunts, but then I'm never gonna have the same problem as my other island. Or then you are gonna have it. Yeah. Okay, and then we got iron. We got silver. And we got so much gold. We're doing really good here, actually. Uh, stone and clay. Put the other stone up here, I guess. Um. Uh, and then I think we had kind of like our gems and stuff over this way. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I've only played four and five so far. And even then, I haven't beat either of them. Um, so I definitely like to check out more of Rune Factory. That looks decent for now. Okay, I don't have a lot of that, but I can fill up uh, these ones. Where's my clay? Oh, I took it. <laughs> the UI quality of life changes are going to be a lifesaver. I'm actually really interested to see... Oops, not that one. Uh, how they do more things in A Wonderful Life, because I loved A Wonderful Life to pieces, of course. But there was definitely some things I would have liked to see quality of life wise. Oh, there's the brick one. I'm curious to see if they're going to implement them. And again, I know we've seen some like Japanese gameplay, but I definitely have not seen all of it. If they would remake the first one, yeah, it's uh, up until a couple, God, like a couple years ago, uh, the first one was the only one I had played. And yeah, it was a bit janky. Oh, right, that one's a day behind. God, that's annoying. L Pocket Gamer Factory 5 was a blessing, changed my mind. Oh, no, no. Oh god, that's a lot of green pepper. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that seems good to me. There we go. That's a nice profit. No, you need 100. <laughs> I should play Luigi's Mansion 2 before I play 3. I played the 3DS remake of 1. It seems fine I should play 2. Um, you know, you might enjoy it a bit more, uh, especially when it comes to Alter Pop. You might get a little bit more enjoyment out of it. I wouldn't say it's necessary, but if you feel like it, if you have it or have access to it, um, it might be a good idea. I know I'm very wish-washy on that, but 2 is not my favorite. 
at all. It's not bad, it's just not the same as the others. Yeah, affection. I'm like, I'm so on the fence. I think I'm gonna hold off watching anyone else's content for it. Um, until I've had the chance to play it myself. I kind of want my first impressions for you guys on stream. Just to take place in a mansion. It takes place in multiple mansions. It's mission based. Um, I think that's the best way to put it. It is mission based. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's fun. It has its its moments. It's just not quite the same. And I think because, you know, you're going in and you're playing objectives and you can leave almost any time. Like, it doesn't have that same vibe as the first and the third. Um, all right. I got to go check on stuff and give Rena a gift today because I didn't yesterday. I'm going to be very happy when that lemon tree is fully grown. I don't know if you like going out in the rain. I don't think it particularly cares, but... Yeah, you like knowing stuff beforehand. Trust, trust me, it's gonna be so tempting to watch all those. Exactly, right? Like, the more the merrier at the end of the day. I'd like to see people try new things. Okay, gold ingot stone. I could do that. I might give in the gold, though. Actually, I could do some tough cloth. I could do that. Yeah, and that's the thing with the second one as well. The ghosts aren't... They're not really... Oh, it's Thursday, heck. They're not really humanoid, for the most part. Um, and they don't really have the same feel. Wow. Arc's display is coming up. I hope this year's is the most awesome yet. Oh, Snote, thank you! I appreciate that. Someone redeemed a tater takeover, so I'll be back pretty soon here, but... It's here for a little bit. Um, alright, so I'll put you back in there. And it was tough cloth and tough grass, right? So I don't really have the tough uh, cloth yet, but I can make it pretty easy. Oh, that takes up most of it though. Holy crap. Uh, I'll do five. <laughs> I'll do five. Sorry, this is your comfort game. That would have been funny. That would have been funny if Tater was just like, I'm gone now. <laughs> um, oh, wait, nope. I need to donate that. Oh, hi, I'm back. I need to donate that. Thank you for the follow, by the way. I really appreciate that. Look, come on in. Tater's gone. Tater has left. I would say the building, but I don't think he knows how to get out. There we go. So we're going to hand that one in for today. Um, and then the other ones, we'll get those done probably tomorrow. To Korean barbecue last night for dinner. Oh, those are fun. Mike and I actually found Korean barbecue flavored chips, <laughs> which is like a very broad thing to say that your chips taste like, but they were pretty good. We had those yesterday. I can't remember what brand. I think it was President's Choice who made those ones. Okay, we're running out of those base materials here. Actually, you know what? I want to see how much the backpack upgrade is. We're going to get that if they're open. Um, 
And then we're just gonna go and clear some land, I guess. How much? 15k? Sounds like a plan. It is worth it. <laughs> Oh, nice. Four dishes and five servings of really good cuts of beef dumplings. Yeah. Around one fifty is pretty pricey, but for that amount, you know. Yeah, so I actually have it downloaded on my PlayStation 5 and on... I think I still have it downloaded on PC. I love the idea of Genshin. But I get a bit thrown off by the idea of uh, uh, the gotcha system. Uh, like the idea that just these random people join your party and like there's no story around them, at least not yet. Uh, that kind of threw me for a loop, but I like the idea of it. It seems so fascinating. I really want to get into it. Like that's why I still have it downloaded. I keep trying. <laughs> I've, I've tried several times now. Maybe one day I'll have to stick through. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'll start a game and I won't really enjoy it first. And then I come back to it and suddenly I love it. Animal Crossing was one of those. Once upon a time. Okay, uh, let's chop these now. Yeah, exactly. I know that you meet them as you play, but the idea that I could unlock them and then meet them Later? That's what gets me. I want to try Skyrim. Had since 2017. Skyrim's very fun. Um, I find it a bit overwhelming, just all the stuff you can do, but it's fun. It's another game I don't think I will ever beat, though, officially. I'm just, I've accepted it. Wait, random why? What's the tea there? We finished Breath of the Wild first, yep. Yeah. And we have that sequel coming out soon, so. Um, alright. Our inventory is doing good. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Probably. Probably. I'm still not 100% decided on if I'm going to stream that day one or not. I probably will. Um, but we'll see. I kind of know, like, you know, obviously everyone and their mother will also be doing the same thing. And a lot of people are going to want to experience it on their own at first, so I'm kind of weighing the pros and the cons there. Start that the other day. Need to play more of it. It's such a fun game, but it... it it's another one that's, you know, just bigger open world games kind of take me a while to get into. Fan vote game of the year over Summit Frontiers. It was a time. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother with all the puddles because I know there's just going to be more tomorrow since it's raining today, but it's okay. Yeah, they can be. I usually need like either a lot of time to kind of wrap my head around it or a lot of direction or just hand holding. <laughs> back and playing it. Scarlet and Violet got finished in 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, oops. And our flowers go back here.
Let's just always use the half of my Switch library. Yeah, I, I need to get in the habit of finishing more games before I buy more. Um, so I was thinking for this little, like, kind of weird area. See, I don't have that many brick, but I'm really tempted to do something with these. Uh, maybe for the time being, just because I don't have a lot of brick, I'll work with the stone fences and stuff. Maybe put some, like, topiaries or something. Actually, what do those need? Grass. And grass. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough for either of them. <laughs> oh god, alright. Well... I happily pump out games that fast. Hubby's on his third or fourth playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Doesn't matter how old it is, he'll keep playing it. Yeah, and there's games that are definitely like that. It's so nice to really fall in love with a game like that. Oh, and there's like cute benches too. I forgot about that. Um, oh, I can make like a little stone lantern. Oh, I was hoping there would be like another bench that I didn't have to put paint on for, you know. Uh, but I might be out of luck for that. So I'm gonna save up for those, because that just looks far, far too cute. Uh, and I'll put down some more paths here. Ooh, I can make use of the fences though, maybe that might be a good idea. Just in the interest of things not spawning here anymore. almost every Zelda game, so I need to go and beat them, starting with Breath of the Wild and Majora's Mask. Both very good titles, both very different. Get some of the control issues I used to have with games and just have fun instead of worrying myself into anxiety. Yeah, over the right way to play. I understand that feeling for sure as well. Okay, uh... Oh, they have this one too. I could probably make that one. I don't remember if they're all the same size though, which is why I'm a bit nervous about crafting it. <gasps> right, I forgot that you can't put stuff on top of paths <laughs> in this game. Why? Why? Who thought this was a good idea? Who's like, yep. Mm -hmm. Who would want to put stuff down on top of paths? Dear lord, this looks weird now. But it's fine. I made it. I'm gonna stick with it. Oh, the lag, that's fine. Yeah, that looks really weird. <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> Alright, yep. Put down some more pretty fences. Try not to cry about it. Ooh, void for sure. Wonder if I could find a better place for these fences, though. I was thinking along here, maybe. Hmm. I really don't like the fences in this game set times because I've seen like really really pretty fence designs and stuff for this game. Yeah, in uh, the story of season subreddit, and it's like this game can be so pretty. <laughs> 
Other than that, you refuse to use them. I'll see how big the topiaries are, and I might just figure out something. And then, like, maybe I'll leave, like, a little gap so that I can go in there and harvest fruit trees that I have still yet to plant. I should probably buy some more of those before summer ends here, actually. Oh, boy, are you gonna get them? I hope you enjoy. Oh, Erica, hello! 14 months reset. Thank you. Oh, it just... I forgot that it just takes, uh... The wood, it doesn't take the, the processed lumber. So thank you guys so much for putting that hype and that love in chat. Friendly reminder, you don't need to be subbed or anything like that, but I'd love to see when people kind of spam some emotes. It doesn't have to be mine. It can be anyone else's. I am not fussy. Yeah, and then I'll put trees along here. Yeah, and the Doraemon one, yeah. I didn't even really do all that much decorating in that, I just knew it was an option. Um, and you know what? Since this is a little bit more organized, maybe what I can do here, actually. Uh... Oh, mm. <laughs> it's not a single wide item. Right, okay, never mind, it's fine. Eventually when this is done, I'm gonna move that down, but for now, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. Uh, and if you guys are joining us, welcome on into me trying to organize my farm, the video game. It's, it's going. It's going. <laughs> I'm remembering how tricky this game can be with where you put stuff. Oh, really, Void? That's weird. Do you have any mods or anything installed, maybe? I feel like that's my first guess is mods being mods, you know? Not not Twitch mods, though. We, we like them. They're, they're good. No, it's base. Alright, and the next question, what platform? PC? Switch? How old is your save file? Just like, thinking about troubleshooting. Yeah, has it been updated? Non-modded, okay. I'll put more of those on. Yeah, mobile did just get that really big update. Finally. No rush, of course. He they've been working really hard on that. But still nice to see. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep doing that because I'm used to one being on one side and the other being on the other side. Here we go. That was a good day. Pretty proud of that one. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we're gonna finish that quest probably for the tough plot. Yeah, 1.5 was a pretty big, big update. Just started. Hmm. That's weird. Morning, Crystal. I have today off. There's somewhere I really want to go, so I came to get you. 
Just between you and me, I found something awesome. Isn't it great? I think this is some sort of ancient ruin. So, are you feeling the vibes coming from this place? But this used to be a spiritual spot long ago. I don't know how much value this place has as a ruin, but I get a feeling the thoughts of the people who made it uh, are crossing through time to reach us. That's why I love my job so much. I'm not alone. All the thoughts and feelings of people who lived in the past give me strength. Oh, speaking of strength, I'm famished. Luckily, I already made us something to eat. Are we having a picnic in the rain? <laughs> I arranged everything to look like this ruin. It's spot on, don't you think? But I made the rice balls look like ancient pottery. Let's eat over there. It's like as good a view, or it looks like it has a good view of the town. Yeah, her music is very upbeat. Also hydrate, thank you. There we go. Give everyone pets. I can't bring you guys out today because it's rainy. Oh. No, that was not quite done. <laughs> it deceived me. I thought it was. So, okay, we need two more of that cloth and then we're done with that. Um, that crop is finally done. So I think we're gonna have enough time here to get us another shipment of uh, pineapples in for this last little spot here. So finally, these are done. We're gonna move that. Uh, I'll probably have a dedicated space for these eventually, but for right now I'm not too fussed where it goes. Be one massive pond with how they spawn in, right? Um, hmm. For now, you'll go there. Oh, heck, where did I put my my seeds? Uh, is it the drunk one? No. Flowers? Yes. There we go. Cool. I feel like this has been- oh hey, her- her um... This is Raina's favorite fruit. Lemons. Yay! <laughs> So we're gonna keep those on us for, uh, for gifting her. Oh my god, please. No. Why? Why must there be so many pawns? We have even more reason to go see Rena today. You can unlock the recipe for the automatic feeder. The automatic feeder will distribute the fodder to your animal's bins each morning. <sighs> Tempting. Tempting, especially looking at that empty feeder. Oh, do they jump to scare you? <laughs> I, it always catches my eye when they come popping out like that. Isn't the cow cute? Yeah. Do you love us a good bubble cow? Is it for the automatic feeder? Just out of curiosity. Uh, 
Uh, that's very cheap. <laughs> that's like nothing. Okay. I see you. I'll I'll make it. Why not? I know. See, here's the thing. Like, I'm I'm fond of the har uh, the wonderful life cows, but I also do like the bubble cows. So I'm kind of torn on that. Uh, okay. No, I needed this. And I think I need to make two of them, right? Or one for each barn. I want to inside a barn or coop. All my fears will distribute fodder from the s oh. The silo that I have not yet built. That's why they're cheap. Yay! <laughs> I forgot about the silo. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to put that down ourselves then. Yep, I don't, I don't got one of those yet. I'm not fancy enough. guys a refill while we're here uh, and also put this down I do not have a silo I'm very well aware of that game How much would it take for me to build up that silo? Just, you know, to say that I have it and I could, you know, store stuff properly. What do we need? Uh, 20 bricks and 10 silver. I can probably make that up. You're telling me that building is made out of brick, though? That is 110% wood. But okay. I believe you, game, and I love you. <laughs> okay, see an antenna. I need hybrids. Where did your hybrid guy go? I can't find it anywhere. Uh, there should be the older one that's still up. The slightly newer one, not up. But yeah, the older, like, old, old one, old one should be uh, somewhere. Silver was the pain for me building that. Yeah, I think I have plenty wooden bricks. Um, I've already forgotten what the other thing was. What was it? Bricks? I think that was it at least. Sentry, enjoy your apple pie. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, I always have lots of it. Uh, large amounts of fodder can be stored in the silo. And let's go move that to be closer to the barns. We have this massive area back here and I have no idea what to do with it. I guess we're probably gonna do a really big field with like sprinklers soon. Maybe I should start looking into sprinklers for fall actually. That might be a good idea. Oh, hello! Happy Ella, hello! How was your stream? What were you guys up to today? And welcome on in! Hello, hello, friends! This is- Oh, if it fits here, that's gonna be so pretty! <laughs> But welcome on in, friends. If you guys are not already following Cafe Ella, please do. Please do. Such a comfy, cozy streamer. I've been really enjoying watching you practice your speedrun for uh, Friends of Mineral Town. I love that game, so it's been nice to see it. Uh, and welcome on in. Oh, you guys are playing some Kid and Seed. Yes, I've been playing that off stream as well. How are you enjoying it? Welcome on in. If you guys are new, by the way, my name is Crystal. I love farming sims. I love comfy cozy things. I love RPGs. I love 
Final Fantasy VII probably a bit too much. <laughs> um, and I am far too excited for a Wonderful Life remake this summer, so we're going through uh, Story Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town right now. Uh, goal is to kind of get married and probably have the kid, uh, and at least see the end of like the main story, so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Concede's very cute. Kinda get married. We're gonna try our best. <laughs> We're gonna try our best. Yeah, especially if you guys haven't played um, so Sauce Booth since the very beginning. Um, they've updated it a lot since the last time I played, which is when it came out pretty much. Um, there's just so much content. They're, they've really updated the maker system, which is really nice, because before it was a little janky. Um, it is still, you know, has its things here and there, but it's really well done. Okay, let's go uh, give Rena her lemons, I guess. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid, and if you guys need to, like, get up and stretch and, you know, eat or drink something, please feel more than free. Don't feel like you gotta stay, but if you want to, that's awesome as well. Okay, uh, what was our quest for today? Rubies, and I can probably hand that in now as well. Okay, so here's Arena. Our display is coming up. I hope there's. This year is the most awesome yet. There we go, so there's something that she really likes. Oh, no worries, I get that. I get that. I hope that your grocery shop goes well, and thank you so much for the lurk. Okay, please be something new. <laughs> No, oh, it's that same thing as before. What place should I start with this one? Or Friends of Mineral Town? Uh, this one's very fun. Friends of Mineral Town is a, a good game. It's very fast paced <laughs> in comparison to this one. This one might be a little bit more up your alley, especially if you've played Stardew. Um, but you know, if you're interested, I definitely say Friends of Mineral Town at some point. So let's go see if that cloth is done. Got it memorized. I do indeed. All right, almost, almost done. Just need one more piece. Uh, and then we can finish off that quest. I don't know how many of these like town upgrade quests we get, to be honest with you. Um, I can donate a ruby though. I don't know why I don't just bring my horse. I have it, I may as well bring it. Um, I don't think we had anyone's birthday coming up, so I might do a little bit of mining. Um, I feel like I'm starting to run low on our ore again. Yeah, I feel like the jump from Poop to A Wonderful Life will be a bit easier than the jump from Friends of Mineral Town into A Wonderful Life. Oh, I didn't buy pineapples yet. Our project. We'll see you next time. I know Poot does have the best acronym. <laughs> Something about saying Sauce Poot. It's amusing. Ah. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Having to go back to older consoles. Especially sometimes like the really old ones where the inputs don't even exist on newer TVs. Oh, I was gonna also buy some more trees, wasn't I? Like they're not gonna be done for this season. 
but I feel like it might be a good idea to get them anyway for uh, next year. Oh, drive tires! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's really frustrating when Twitch is being twitchy. Okay, uh, tea leaf bean. So we got, um, uh, cocoa. I hope these will still, I'm sure they'll still grow out of season, yes? One way to find out. Almond, coconut, someone in town like coconut, I can't remember who, banana, and peach. That's a lot of trees. Doesn't have the hookups for it. Yeah. I'm glad that you have an older TV for it at least. Okay, so I was gonna just put them down like every other square here. It's just dawned on me. I hope that these ones aren't meant to be... Thank you for the follow! <laughs> aren't meant to be... Planted on the beach? I don't think you can plant anything on the beach. One way to find out. Hey, Parks, how are you doing? And then maybe down this side, pointing. Down here, <laughs> we can do the uh, like the fall base trees. So spring is up there, summer is there, fall is there. Uh, we're gonna clear that one away. There we go. Just so I can walk down here. I think that'll do. Mining we go, chat. Mining we do. We do. We go. <laughs> oh. That too. There we go. Actually, speaking of a wonderful life remake, I think I saw recently in like one of their like promotional tweets, which are all in Japanese, so I understand none of it. Um, that the uh, multicolored horses are actually coming back. I don't know if you get to choose or if it's just you were given one. Uh oh, for Treasure Islands, Erica. I still have never been to one of those. I appreciate it. <laughs> Very much appreciate that. Uh, you know what? Let's try falling. I fell five floors. That's not too bad. I think one day I just need to take care of my animals. Maybe on a day that it's raining. Uh, and just rush and try to get to the bottom of this mine. Because I, I feel like there's the better ore at the bottom, I think. I'm pretty sure there's a level above gold for our tools that we're going to want to get our hands on. Uh, this game is on both. I'm playing this on PC right now, but it's also available on uh, various consoles. Oh god. Okay, there we go. I didn't actually get hit by that. Um, and let me say, by the way, as well, I initially played this on Switch, and it was okay. But it runs so nicely on PC. <laughs> it's so much better. Yeah. Can never play it on console. It's really funny, because I always feel like Stardew... 
feels like it was meant to be on the Switch. Like, I just, it runs really nice on there. Um, but I know a lot of people play Stardew with mouse and keyboard. So it'd be hard to, you know, make that transition over to console. I always play with controller, so it doesn't bother me. Oh, Cam, is it playtime? Oh, Blue, I don't think I've heard of that one. I don't think I've heard of it. Hey, Vincent, how are you doing today? Yep, it's on Steam. I'm playing that through Steam right now. I haven't, you know what, Babbit? I actually haven't. I've been meaning to go back just one day after stream and kind of run around my farm uh, and see, because my farm is a little bit more advanced than this one, give or take. Um, and I'd love to see if it's the update that made a big difference or if it's just where I'm playing it. Start with mouse and keyboard, it's hard for me to play on the Switch with the controller. Yeah, I think uh, it's because I've always, you know, I've played Harvest Moons and Story Seasons always with controller. So the idea of playing a farming sim with a mouse and keyboard is very foreign to me. <laughs> Not to mention, I can't play mouse and keyboard without my hands going numb these days, so... I just avoid it. Macron's like, Pooh, would I try to play Stardew on it? Yeah. Can't fish on there to save my life. It's hard enough on PC. I also, and this is just me, you know, not, nothing official, obviously. Um, but I have this little theory that my luck on Stardew on Switch is always better than my luck on Stardew on PC. I don't know what it is, but I usually end up getting like the dino egg for spring. I've had meteorites in the first spring. Like it just, I've gotten some crazy luck in particular on the Switch version. I do have mods for Stardew. I do just on PC, of course. And you can't live without your mods now, yeah. No, I get that pain as well. Ooh, let's try falling. Uh, floor 25. Okay, that took quite a bit of energy. Do you have a farm with Mike? Uh, we've had several farms together, actually. We haven't played together in a long time, and I don't think he's played a lot of the 1.5 updates still. Yeah, he said no, so... At some point, I'll probably ask if he wants to join me for some more of that, but... Yeah, the Skull Cavern elevator is very nice. We both like our tractor mod. <laughs> yeah, he's saying it's mostly the elevator. Ooh, I just noticed the time. I should probably go. It's almost 10 o'clock. How hard is it to mod Steam games? Uh, it depends on which method you're going through. Um, for Stardew, I use something called Vortex, which is a mod manager. Did Mike get into Sandrock? Yeah, he was enjoying the multiplayer a lot. I'm still trying to low-key hint and nudge him towards the single player because I think he'd very much enjoy it. Yeah, so Vortex works with Smappy uh, really, really nicely. It's one of the only games I've ever modded. I don't have very much experience with it, so... Yeah, they did end it. We were both a little bit sad that it was over, but it was also kind of a good place for us to wrap up like that save anyway, considering it's probably going to be gone uh, by the next time they are safe for Sandrock. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we'll be gone by the next time they, uh, they update the multiplayer. Yeah, there's some that don't work anymore. Some that have been updated too much. Yeah, Vortex is pretty good. I know that they do, like, they mod manage for a whole bunch of different games as well, so. Um, Redacted. <laughs> that being said, you guys, it is time for me to wrap up for today. My stomach has been growling for like the last 30 minutes. I should probably go get some food. 
Um, but I would love to pass on the love if you guys wouldn't mind sticking around for just a couple minutes longer. Um, we had an awesome raid earlier with Ella. I'd love to pass that on to someone else and make their day. <laughs> My ending was redacted indeed. Yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And if you guys are new and you want to drop a follow, I'm going to be streaming Poot for like the rest of this week because I, I want to get through it. <laughs> I've never seen the ending. Um... So if you guys are here for farming sims, feel free to drop a follow. Uh, let's go see Rosie. She has her brand new setup. I am very proud. She has a mic arm and everything now. Uh, and it looks like she's doing some Scarlet and Violet today. Let's go hang out with Rosie. Um, have an amazing rest of your day, though. You guys, thank you so, so very much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And as I punch the bottom of my microphone, hopefully... I will see you guys all next time.